Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of Monar Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to discuss an equation of the parabola having its vertex located at HK and we were able to determine its focus, its directrix, and the length of the latus rectum. For today's video, we will be able to determine the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and the length of the latus rectum using an equation. And when we are dealing with equations, all we have to do is to remember what we have done in the equations of the circle. In order for us to know the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and the length of the latus rectum given an equation, the first thing that we need to do is to complete the square. Okay, so let's write down the equation. We have here y squared minus 5x plus 12y is equal to negative 16. So all we have to do is to complete the term being squared. And we only have one term being squared in this one. We have here y squared. If y squared is being squared, please remember that our parabola is either opening to the left or to the right. Again, if it is y squared, our parabola is either opening to the left or to the right. But if the given equation is x squared, therefore, our parabola is either opening upward or downward. Since our parabola, our given equation is y squared, therefore, expect that the given parabola will open to the left or to the right. But we do not know yet the opening of our parabola. Why? Because the opening of the parabola will depend in the sign of the right side. Okay, so let's now complete the square. Therefore, we will be having y squared plus 12y plus the term being completed is now equal to transpose negative 5x to the other side. Therefore, this is neg positive 5x. Since this is negative, it becomes positive 5x minus 16 y squared plus 12y plus how do we complete this one we have 12 divided by 2 that becomes 6 squared we now have 36 is equal to 5x minus 16 plus 36 y squared plus 12y plus 36 it is now a perfect square we'll be having y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 5x Negative 16 plus 36 will give us an answer of positive 20. Therefore, y plus 6 quantity squared is now equal to. If we are given this one, all we have to do is to factor out the coefficient of x so that it becomes an equation of the parabola. But for this one, the coefficient of x is 5. Therefore, factor out 5 and we'll now be having 5 times x plus Four, and it now takes the form y plus k or y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c x minus h. Therefore, where is the vertex? The vertex is located at h and k. Therefore, the vertex will be, this is our h, that becomes negative 4, and this is our k, therefore, that becomes negative 6. Okay, so what is the value now of our latus rectum? But before that, let us first identify if our parabola is opening to the left or to the right since this is y squared. Okay, in order for us to know if it is opening to the left or to the right, look at the sign of the right side. Is this positive or negative? It is positive. Therefore, if it is positive, our parabola now is opening to the right. Okay, our parabola is opening to the right because the right side is positive. Therefore, latus rectum now is equal to 4C and this is the latus rectum. 5 is equal to 4C, therefore, um, 5 over 4 is equal to C. This is now the length of, of our C. 5 over 4 or that is also equal to 1.25. Okay. Um, I use here the decimal, decimal figures so that we will be able to add this easily to the values. Okay, so let us first draw the vertex. We have here negative 4 and negative 6. So this is our vertex. It is located at negative 4 and negative 6. So where is the focus? Where is now the focus? 
since this is y squared and i told you from my past tutorials that since this is y squared therefore they have the same y value of the vertex and the y value of the vertex is negative 6 therefore this becomes negative 6 and we will now be having the value of c for this one but are we adding or are we subtracting so let us first draw since our parabola is opening to the right therefore this is not and since we're given the vertex located at negative 4 and negative 6 and our parabola is opening to the right because the right side is positive therefore we're now ready to locate the focus and that the focus uh, uh, the focus and the vertex share the same y coordinate so from this one we have negative 4 so it is going to the right therefore we will add the value of c and the value of c now is 1.25 therefore negative 4 plus 1.25 will give us an answer of negative 2.75 and in fraction 2.75 is equal to negative 11 over 4 so this becomes negative 2.75 the focus now is located at negative 2.75 somewhere here so and negative 6 so this is our focus okay so from the focus so we're now ready to determine the we're now ready to determine our directrix therefore if we add here plus c for the directrix we will now be having negative 4 minus c since the directrix is to the left of the vertex so that is negative 4 minus 1.25 will be having negative 5.25 and negative 5.25 is equal to negative 21 over 4 so negative 5.25 this is negative 5 this is negative 5.25 let's draw a line therefore this is now the directrix x is equal to negative 21 over 4 so that is now the directrix the length of the lattice rectum the length of the lattice rectum lr is equal to 4 times the absolute value of c therefore that is 4 times what is the value of c 1.25 or 5 over 4 therefore we have 4 times 5 over 4 we could cancel out 4 therefore the length of the lattice rectum now is 5 units so using completing the square we will able we were able to determine the standard equation of the parabola y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 5 times x plus 4 and based from this standard equation we were able to determine the vertex the focus the directrix the length of the lattice rectum so here are all the values that we need so that's all for today i hope you learned something from this video tutorial please uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel and i am engineer jad edward hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun goodbye and god bless